Julian Meller, Easy Swing Coach. I've had a request uh, to see if I would make a video for beginners. Uh, so people who are new to golf, who may have been interested in taking it up, but um, either haven't had the time or the situation has not been right. And can I make the golf swing simple for beginners? Uh, well, quite simply, yes, yes we can. Um, I think one of the few, quite a few success stories we have now is it doesn't, it doesn't have to take long to start to swing a golf club. I've had people hitting the ball from never even picking a golf ball up to within 20, 20 minutes they're able to hit some very nice golf shots. Uh, so time wise it doesn't have to take very long to learn this, to learn a golf swing. So first principle, um, we need to make contact with the golf club so we do need a grip and we like people to grip natural not neutral. Um, all the technical books are going to tell you to place the hand on a specific way um, so that you've got a perfect golf club grip but we're not all built perfectly sometimes we might have an issue with our shoulders or our arms we might have a, a pin through our arm for instance um, there's so many different combinations that you could have so grip natural not neutral so a very simple way to start to take a golf grip stand nice and tall let your arms hang beside your, your body bring your hands together and that's going to give you roughly your natural golf grip so I'm not trying to place this on in any specific way and just let my arms come together nice and relaxed left if you're right-handed the left hand goes on top the right hand comes underneath it uh, there's three ways that you can put your right hand on one is what's called an overlapping grip where your little finger goes in between your index finger there's one way your index finger and little finger can interlock they cross over and there's one way your hands can separate where they actually touch it's called a baseball grip they touch but they're not really interlocked in any way so very simple hands together bring them out in front of you and there that's going to be your natural grip um, if we're thinking now about how far away to stand from the golf ball just stand nice and tall let your arms just be relaxed on your body so if I'm just relaxing this from here I'm just going to bend from the hips till it hits the floor and just soften the knees so I'm not having to bend over too far and get into awkward angles so nice and tall relax on your body bend from your hips till it hits the floor and then just soften your knees and this is going to give you a good starter for 10 in terms of setting up to the golf ball now what I also want you to do if you're a beginner is I want you to rehearse this movement so you're going to turn right and turn left. Now if you just watch my feet, watch how they're moving, and also my head as I would have hit the golf ball. This is what we call a dance to golf. There's actually six things that are happening there, but do we need to think about those at this stage? No, we don't. I'm just going to make a swing now without the golf ball. And I want you to tell me if this is difficult for you to do. So all I'm going to do is hold my left thumb, so I've got an imaginary golf ball in my hand. Would this movement be difficult? Hopefully that doesn't look difficult. And if you watched how my body was, was moving, so my, my feet were moving nice and freely, I was very relaxed when I was moving my arms. My arms are nice and relaxed. I'm not trying to straighten them in any way, shape or form. I don't think that's too difficult to do. Let's pop a golf club in my hand and see if it looks any different. So I'm just taking my natural grip, not neutral, remember, nice and relaxed. Does that look difficult? Let me do a couple from sideways on so you can see the, my golf club. So I feel nice and tall, relaxed. Do one face on so you can start to see. And I'm doing it this way, so nice and relaxed. Into a nice finish. So what I'm going to do now is let this golf ball get in the way of that golf swing. So nice relaxed golf swing. Like we said, there's there's six principles that are happening there. 
Um, I don't want you to think too much about them, but I will explain them. So there's a turning of the body, my body turns right and left. There's a weight shift, so my weight shifts from, from centre, move from right to left. There's rhythm, nice rhythm to the golf swing. There's what's called coordination, so the club and the body are moving in the same direction at the same time. There's a balance, so we're holding a balance finish. And lastly, is to remain relaxed. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask any time and I'll do my best to help. Um, apply this method to all golf clubs and I'm certain that you're going to start to be able to swing the golf club quite naturally as a beginner. I hope this has helped and thanks for watching. Bye!